All right, we're moving into our 4.3 of the Biological Molecules Lab. So we are here looking at what happens when we test for lipids. Now with lipids, you're going to use a, what we call the Sudan 4 powder, and it is kind of messy. Um, but it is a nonpolar substance, which means it's going to dissolve very well into our fatty substances. So again, here we have a positive and negative control. Our positive control, number one, is literally a lipid solution. It's called lipid solution solution it has lipids and then number two again we use water because it doesn't have anything in it um, and when you use the Sudan 4 it either dissolves into solution or not so you can see number one is very clearly red which means the powder dissolved really well into the solution of lipid stuff uh, but number two it's even hard I'm gonna like move it here production value All right. um, you can see that the powder is just kind of swirling around in there it clearly didn't dissolve which makes sense right because since it is a non-polar substance it can't dissolve into our polar water as our unknown so we can use that to compare for our, our, our other three unknowns and the unknowns for this was a sucrose solution which is sugar right not a lipid so it did not dissolve it does not have the lipids in it um, number four is oil so oil since it is a hydrophobic substance this um, Sudan 4 dissolves in and then the last one is a halvesy halvesy um, this is half water and half oil so oil floats on top of water and the powder dissolved into the oil but not into the water so you can see that here there you go <laughs> no it was like right on the metal piece oh of course it's all see? good yeah. okay, so again comparing our unknown solutions to our and known too much coffee. I'm shaking. <laughs> Maybe I need more coffee. I'll make these videos so much better. Okay, moving to procedure 4.4. Hey, and this one is testing for our proteins. So for this, we use the Buret or Biret. Do you want to uh, fight over no, it? I'm good. Buret, Biret. I, I don't buret. really care. Buret. I say Buret. Whatever. It's the German in me. I'm going with it. Um, Mix so it up a little. It was probably it named. Exciting. It was probably named after a German anyway. Maybe. Let's face it. All right. But Biret just sounds so much <laughs> snazzier. All right, fine. Be snazzy. I'll be a whole German. <laughs> so if we look at the um, tubes here, again, we have positive control and negative control. So number one is just a protein solution. It turns a pinkish purpley color. Uh, and then the number two, the water, turns kind of clearish blue. Kind of clearish blue. Um, and then our unknowns for this would be egg, albumin, sucrose solution, amino acids, and then milk. Um, so again, taking these and comparing them to our, our positive and negative controls, we can see that the egg albumin has protein in it because egg albumin, albumin <laughs> is actually protein, right? So it it's is. going to um, react with the burette test. Um, and then number three is... Because that's what you put in your protein shakes, right? Mm -hmm. Egg white? Egg, if you really want to. I don't know. I wouldn't want to eat raw egg, but no, whatever. Thank you. Um, whatever. Now, number four, I just think is strange. Uh, sucrose is weird. But it's pretty. It is. It doesn't give us a little color in the lab. Uh, the sucrose solution doesn't really match our positive or negative controls. Um, so since it doesn't match our positive control, then we are certain that it does not have protein in it. Um, sucrose, because it's uh, reducing sugar, or small sugar, it has weirdness. That's all. I'm going with it. And number five is an amino acid solution. So remember, amino acids are what make up proteins. They are the monomer for proteins. So they are not going to be a protein because they're not put together as a protein. Um, so testing negative here. And then number four, your good protein intake for the day is to take some milk. So we do get a little bit of protein that shows up in milk, um, whether it is non-fat or 100% fat cream, whipping cream, right? You're going to get some protein in there. So your milk will test positive for protein and then the last of our experiments the fifth experiment procedure 4.5 is testing for DNA okay, and this we use a dish solution the dish solution is going to bind with DNA so here again we have a positive and negative control positive is a DNA solution the negative is again water because nothing in it Super exciting, the water. And um, number three and four and five are then our unknowns. We don't really know if they're going to be testing or not positive for DNA. So number three is half DNA, 
and half water. So, gee, I wonder what it's going to do. Um, it it doesn't turn blue. It turns blue. Um, and it's a lighter color than we get with our positive control um, because it's diluted. It's like half of what your positive control is. And then number four, again, sucrose is weird. Um, it doesn't match our positive control or our negative, so it doesn't really have, it has something in it, but it does not have DNA in it. It has sucrose in it. It has sucrose in it. So, so weird. And then the next one is the egg albumin. Remember, that has protein in it. So it turns kind of like egg drop soup. <laughs> That's what I think. It's egg, it looks it's egg cloudy. drop soup. Yeah, it's but cloudy. It it's not blue. Yeah, not blue. So it does not have DNA in it. Okay, so again, by using your positive and negative controls, you have a comparison to test those unknowns to give you a qualitative analysis, not quantitative. You don't have to do any math in this lab. Awesome. 